Hi, welcome to Hero Smart Homeschool Academy. My name is Mrs. Nita. Let's begin with a word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, indeed. It is the start of a new week. It's so good to have you here with me. We are in lesson 16a. We have week 16 workbook here. If you're following the curriculum, you can easily download this workbook by following the description below. Keep in mind your memory verse on the front cover. So you'll want to begin working to memorize that scripture as you continue through your week. Great, so let's begin with our warm up song. Are you ready to warm up? We're going to warm up. Good, good, good stuff. So go ahead and stand up and let's sing our song. If you're ready to learn, clap your hands. If you're ready to learn, stamp your feet. If you're ready to learn, if you're ready to learn, then come and sing with me again. If you're ready to learn, clap your hands, clap, clap. If you're ready to learn, stamp your feet. If you're ready to learn, if you're ready to learn, then come along with me. Yeah, good, good job. I'm all warmed up and ready for the day. What about you? Oh, yes, we are ready. So the very first thing we want to do is talk about our consonant sound of the day. The consonant sound for this lesson is g, g. G, G, represented by the letter G, as you can see here. G, G, G. You try it. G, G. Good job. The word family of the day is et, et, et. We'll discuss this in greater detail after you press pause on your device and complete the assignment on page five at this time. Great work. I trust you had time to finish that. Did you see the word of the, the word from the worksheet? It is get, get. We uh, will go and get the basket. We will get it. We are going to get this lesson. <laughs> get. Great job. So the word there is get. And as you can see, we are going to talk about the word family of the day, which is et. 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 The E says e. Eh. The T says t. Et. Eh. If you turn to page 14 in your workbook, you'll see that we're talking about the rhyme or word family, et, et. What happens when you combine these sounds together? What word will you get when you combine today's sound of the day, g, g, with the word family of the day, et, et. Well, what you get is get, you get the word get. Here is our ending, our word family, our word ending. And this is the word that you get. So I want you to practice saying this sound with me, breaking the sounds up into their distinctive units. We have get, eh. Let's try it again. G, e, t. Good job. One more time. G, e, t. Excellent work. Now we're going to bring all of these sounds together. Are you ready? Get, g, get, get. The word that you get when you combine these sounds together is get, 
get. Good job, way to go. So that's the word of the day. And um, also we want to talk about rhyming words. Can you think of other words that may rhyme with the word get? Can you think of any word that may rhyme with the word get? Hmm, what word can we think of that rhymes with get? What about pet? Ah, oh, that's a good one. What about pet? Let's try the word pet. 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 And look, there's our word family again. You see it? It's right there. All we did was change our initial sound unit. We changed the G and made it become a P. And we get a completely new word. We give the word pet. Can you think of another word that we can use? That's a rhyming word to get. Another rhyming word to get. We have get, pet. What about, that's a good one. That's exactly what I was thinking as well. What about bet? And there's the ending sound. Again, your word family is just traveling along with you. So you have get, pet, bet. Good word. You can continue to work through other sounding words, uh, other rhyme words that you can come up with that rhyme with the word get. However, if you have the workbook, you can just turn to page 14 and pause your device, complete that exercise on that page and come back when you're ready to continue. Great work. I trust you had time to finish that exercise. It's a, a lot of fun to practice rhyming. Get, bet, pet, net. Good. So now we're going to turn to page seven in our workbook. And the story we'll be reading about today is actually not a story. It's something more like a prayer. So it was sort of like a prayer book, an acknowledgement of God book. So this is the time of the uh, lesson that we delve into Bible history. This history portion um, for the next maybe 15 lessons or so will be around prayers and um, meditation quotes that you can be pondering on while you're completing your assignments, while you're reading your books, while you're outside playing, you can have these prayers and some of these passages replay in your mind that'll keep your mind on God um, so let's go ahead and get this book and see what we can read about today. This is called Good Night, God. It is Seen Better Days by Bonnie Rickner Jensen. I think it's a lovely book. Um, I like it very much. This is called God Protects You. The scripture says, he who guards you never sleeps. He never sleeps. That's in Psalm 121, three. A safe place to run to. A safe place to hide. Dream of a tower with God's love inside. Where you are protected all day and all night. Not for a moment away from God's sight. Good night, God. Thank you for keeping me safe and loved. Good night, God. Good job. So that's the name of that was God Protects You. And indeed he does. If you have your workbook, you can go ahead and press pause on your device and complete the assignment there at this time. Great work. I trust you had time to finish that. What we're going to do right now is um, work on our mathematics portion of the lesson. And um, we are going to be talking about 
counting from numbers one through 10 and better identifying the letter associations with the numerals, okay? We've done this activity previously. This is just to sort of review. Um, it'll help you to make the connection a little bit better in your mind as you see it more and more and more, okay? So um, the number one here, that's the numeral one, you know that. And this is how you spell one, O-N-E. It's also a sight word and you may have already seen this as a sight word in your workbook. If not, you will see it very shortly. One, this is the number two, T-W-O. It's also a sight word. Two, three, this is the number three, the way you spell three, T-H-R-E-E, -E, three. This is the number four, four, the way you spell four is F-O-U-R, four. This is the number five, five, the way you spell five, F-I-V-E. -E. This is the number six. Six. The spelling for the word six. Six. S-I-X. The spelling for the numeral is S-I-X. Six. This is the number seven. The spelling for the word seven is S. E V E N seven 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 seven. Seven. This is the number eight. The way you spell eight is E I G H T eight. This is the number nine. The way you spell nine is N I N E. Nine. This is the number 10, the numeral 10. The way you spell 10 is T-E-N, 10. Over the course of the very first through the 36th workbook that you will use for as a complimentary resource for this video, you will come across about five of these numbers uh, on frequent basis. And oftentimes they're written in their, in their written form using letters. So it's good to know what those letters look like. Um, about five of these words are either sight words or words that are simple enough for you to learn phonetically over the next few weeks. And uh, finally, the numbers five and nine have long vowel sounds. These are not necessarily sight words. You can spell these words phonetically. We will learn about this in another great year. Good job. So if you would like at this time, you can pause your advice and complete the assignment found there on page 12. Good job, welcome back. I trust you had time to complete that counting assignment. It's good to count uh, very often because repetitive um, activities help you to remember them better. So repetition is good. So the very next segment of our lesson is to do our make a joyful noise um, to the Lord section. We want to thank God and just stop and give honor to God. It's important to do that even when you're not in your lesson. Just throughout the day, stop, honor God, and then you can continue whatever it is you're doing. We're going to be on page 26 in your workbook if you're following along. Let me get our instrument for today. As you know, I'm going to ask you to grab your instrument, whatever instrument you choose. You may choose a tambourine, cymbal, clarinet, saxophone, harp, drums, piano, xylophone. God doesn't care. He loves it all. 
and uh, we want to give God praise at this time. So the name of the song is God Made Me. And here we go. God made me. God made me. In my Bible book it says that God made me. God loves me. God loves me. In my Bible book it says that God loves me. God helps me. God helps me. In my Bible book it says that God helps me. God keeps me. God keeps me. In my Bible book it says that God keeps me. God made me. God made me. In my Bible book it says that God made me. God made me. God made you. In my Bible book it says that God made us. Yeah, God. God made us. There's no doubt about it. We're grateful for that. So the very last segment of our lesson, we'll, uh, you can turn to page number. It's our handwriting, our tracing segment. You can find it on page eight if you have your workbook. And we're just going to practice writing these two letters uh, close together so we can have some practice uh, stringing letters together to form words. Um, you can continue to do this exercise as often as you can to help you to create words close together. Uh, you want your letters to come close together when you're making words. Um, so we want to do that. The letters that we'll be writing today is from our word family. Et. So let's get started. We're going to start by doing a horizontal line this way for the letter E. Upward curve, downward curve, and stop. You know this from a previous lesson. Then we're going to make the letter T. And there you have et. So you can use these letters. Uh, add a beginning letter. Uh, G. P, B, or any other uh, beginning sound or beginning letter, you want to form this word. You can return back to, refer back to your rhyme time uh, activity and find other rhyming words that you can use to create words using this ending sound. So that's it. Let's try it one more time. We have a um, Horizontal line for E, you know how to do this part. There's the letter E, the letter T, just side by side. So practice that. You have activities um, here designed to help you to start making your letters come close together as you're practicing your writing so that you can form words. Words, you want to form words. So use any of those beginning sound units with, to form your new words. Good job, and I think that's the end of our lesson. It is the end. Well, it's been another amazing time with you. This is lesson 16A. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and may God bless you. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and may God bless you. Goodbye, little hero. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born.